Welcome back, everybody. Some of our regulars have been sharing some videos with us, including Miss Joy McCabe. Today, she's making a delicious recipe for peanut butter fudge cake. Hey, everybody. Last time I made my favorite cookies, today I'm gonna make my favorite cake. And this is a peanut butter chocolate fudge cake, and it's really delicious. I've got my dry ingredients here in a bowl, that's flour, sugar, baking soda, and I've just whisked it all together so that it's nice and smooth and combined. Next, I've got a cup of butter that I've melted um, on top of the stove in this saucepan, and I'm gonna add in some cocoa, some water, buttermilk, and two eggs, slightly beaten. And we're just going to stir this continually until this mixture comes to a boil. So our chocolate mixtures come to a boil. I'm just gonna pour it into our uh, dry ingredients here in this bowl. And then we're just gonna stir everything together until it's nice and smooth. This will take a little while. Oh, it smells so good. So I've got everything stirred together. Next, um, final ingredient, my vanilla. Just stir that in. You know, this is an interesting cake. You don't need your mixer, but you do have to cook part of it on top of the stove. But it smells so good and it really is a delicious cake. All right, I'm just gonna turn this out into a nine by 13 baking pan. And I have sprayed it with a um, nonstick cooking spray that has flour. So I'm ready to put this in the oven. We're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. The cake is done. Baked at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. Now, I let it cool for just about 10 minutes. I'm gonna spread it with peanut butter. And this is um, smooth peanut butter. But if you all you had was crunchy, that will work fine too. And I usually just kind of dollop it around and that warm cake is going to melt, help melt this uh, peanut butter so that it will spread and kind of melt over the cake. And that's what you want it to do. So don't be alarmed if it's hard to spread at first, give it a little time and it will spread very evenly. Now, I've spread the peanut butter, the cake is still warm, but we're gonna let this cool completely and then we're gonna ice it with the chocolate icing. All right, our cake is cool completely. The peanut butter has gone back to its regular consistency. So we're ready to add the final layer of frosting on this cake. I have here in my saute pan a stick of butter that I've let melt um, and I'm going to add in some cocoa, some buttermilk, and we're just going to um, stir this continually until it comes to a boil. And be sure and stir, keep stirring it. Don't walk away from your pan. All right, my chocolate mixture's come to a boil. I'm going to add it to one box of powdered sugar. And um, I did just kind of whisk this powdered sugar around so that it's kind of like sifting it. So it's nice and smooth. It's gonna make perfect chocolate frosting. So we're just gonna stir all this together. Just gently stir. It's all gonna to come together. Okay, so you can see I switched to a whisk to get this um, frosting to all come together. Now we're ready to frost the cake. And I'm just gonna kind of turn this up and just pour it over the cake. And then I'll spread it out. And this is your peanut butter chocolate fudge cake. You're gonna have a delicious cake on the bottom, a layer of peanut butter, and then this fabulous chocolate frosting on top. It is a perfect cake for anybody who loves chocolate and peanut butter together. Unfortunately, she's not here 
for us to sample, but it yes. looks absolutely delicious. I think I could eat the entire cake all to myself. And her recipes, by the way, you can find on our website. We love Miss Joy for sure.